this one has been a total labour of love, but I've not been conservative with the chocolate. There is loads and loads of chocolate in him. He's one tasty politician. This is a showpiece, it's a spectacular. So the idea is not just a cake that you eat, it's also a centerpiece. So we love the idea that your cake doesn't only taste good, but it also looks like a little bit of a wow factor. And he seems to be doing the trick, this one. Rosie's cakes are always amazing, but this one of Boris hanging there is um, particularly spectacular. Let's say I'm looking forward to her cutting him up. So this is an illusion cake, so the idea of this cake is that it's to trick you, right? So if I have tricked you, then I have, then I have, done, then I have done well. But everything here is made from cake, covered in modelling chocolate, sugar paste, um, uh, I've used some specialist products like isomalt to achieve certain finishes, but I can assure you it is all cake. I think because people are getting more and more adventurous and they can understand what can be done with cake out of its regular round or square form, people are beginning to push the boundaries. So things like extreme cake makers where we are making, we're making, essentially we're making cake sculptures. So it's food art. So it's definitely a, a crossing between regular cake decorating and just taking it to the next level. I think every time you see a cake made, and even me, that's my job, but I see cakes made all the time, and you think, gosh, how have they done that? 
I think the boundaries are being pushed every day, technology is advancing, there's more available um, uh, materials, there's different types of icings, there's different types of airbrushes, just to get those realistic textures, the colours, everything's coming on so quickly that we're almost like, as artists, it's so exciting to just be able to just make whatever you want. I am very proud of my donut. <laughs> it's fab. I'm so pleased. Delicious. And you made it all by yourself.